All right, here it goes. Oh, that was a close call. Come on, we can do it. Oh, that was epic. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, I cannot believe that just happened. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Scrapman bringing you a first look at Escape Close Call. Now, I figured it's Christmas Eve. It's all about family and doing things together. So we play a game about escaping police and trying to uh, break through fences and cause destruction. Don't ask me why. That's just uh, what we're playing today. Now, it's a little bit different than my normal stuff. It's more of just like a... This is more of like an action-packed rage game. And I figured that might be nice to do on Christmas Eve. Do something a little bit different. But it's... Uh, I got a key for free, but it's only a couple of bucks on the workshop if you guys are interested in checking it out. The purpose of this game is to escape. And the way you do that is you avoid the police for as long as you can while racking up some coins to get upgrades that allow you to eventually escape onto the next level, onto the next level, until you finally finish. Now, the key thing about this game is in order to get coins, you have to pull up some crazy maneuvers and close calls and just narrowly avoiding the police officers. And it is actually extremely difficult and extremely frustrating, especially at the beginning when you don't have any upgrades. So I've played a little bit so far, um, we, we've upgraded our gas tank just a little bit, and in order to actually break through the fence, we need to get 20,000 gold to unlock the fence breaking thing. That actually is not that easy. And we can also have other, other upgrades like uh, drive through enemy cars, we can have a decoy, we can have other things, just all kinds of crazy stuff. We can even have like a weapon, uh, but that stuff all costs gold, which we need to get right now. So let me show you how this game goes. You can see we have quests here that we can complete to give ourselves some extra go gold. So we have to get a thousand points in one run, run over three zombies in one, one run, and go through a shortcut. I don't actually know what the shortcut thing means. But after we complete these, then we'll get on to the next set of quests. So this is my third set of quests. I've only done two so far. All right, so let's go ahead and hop in here. So all I can, my only controls are left and right. I cannot control how fast I'm going. All I can do is turn. And you can see we got police officers all around me. And as soon as you get hit by a police officer, round is over. I lasted nine seconds, a whopping nine seconds in that round. And believe it or not, that's actually terrible. No, 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 no I was going to say that's not too bad, but it's actually pretty terrible. So we got six coins for that, for lasting nine seconds. We got six coins. So let's go ahead and restart. Now there's one other control, and that control is standoff mode, which essentially does this. Oh, I, let's, hold on, that was terrible. It does this. So it puts us in slow motion here, and we skid around in a circle, and then once we release it, we kind of boost off. Oh, and we hit a police officer. 13 seconds. Hey, we're doing better. Improvements, right? So that time we got 72 gold because we did some of that fancy slow-mo stuff. All right, so we're trying to get like 3,800 gold or something here, and let's see, what else? 1,000 points in a run. I don't- oh, no. Five seconds. We're not doing better. So that's the thing about standoff mode is although you get more points when you're doing it, you also have less control over what you're going to be doing because you can, you're can you just spinning around. You have no control over how you're spinning around. Um, you only have a control over when you boost out of there. So if a police officer comes in at the wrong angle, there's nothing you can really do about it. All right, so let's get a, let's get a hang for these quests here. So where are my points? Oh, that was a close call. Did you guys see that? That was amazing. I am never that good. That's because I just got lucky. So you see, the, you see the close up. You see the close call things happen when I get close to them. It goes in a little bit of slow motion. You get a point multiplier. All right, I'm seeing point multipliers happen. I don't see. Or is my gold the points? No, the gold can't be the points. All right, I don't know where the points are though. Is the problem? All right, so we're doing okay so far. Sometimes, oh, there's some zombies. Let's get some zombies. So zombies gives up give us point multipliers at the cost of. Oh, we went through a shortcut apparently. They give us point multipliers at the cost of making our screen a little bit weird. But there are ways to get around that, which I do not have access to just yet. And this is like one of the best rounds I've ever had. We only have 10 minutes until the, uh, uh oh, we're running out of gas. We're running out of gas. Oh, it's okay. We died anyway. But that was a good round. I think we got a lot of gold that round. Oh, and we got a thousand points. All right. So I think actually, I think the gold is our points. And we spawned 15 zombies, so I think we actually got all of the quests for that one. So let's see now. Now we have to reach a score multiplier 1.5. That shouldn't be too bad. And break the blue fence, which is going to be... That is going to take a while. All right, so after this round, we're going to go into the shop and we're going to increase our gas tank. Because we're going to need some more gas if we're going to get some crazy points. We're going to have to last a lot longer than we're lasting right now. But at least we got the point multiplier quest. Wait, what is this? Attract zombies to my car... 
All right, no, we're definitely, we're going to want to go for the gas. We have 5,000 gold. All right, we're going for that one. So yeah, now breaking through the fence costs 20,000 gold. As you can see, I've gotten like 5,000. So I guess it wouldn't be too hard. It wouldn't take too long to break through the fence. I'm hoping that in this episode, at least, I'll be able to break through the fence. We got a couple of close calls with that single police car. So now I think we get points for things like close calls, hitting some zombies, making police cars crash into each other. Another thing we can do, which is kind of hard, is when police cars go up in the air, if we go underneath them just like that, oh, that was epic. We get some extra points for uh, going underneath police cars when they're up in the air. So that is pretty cool. All right, and out of here, woo! Oh, that should have been a close call. Why did that one not get registered as a close call? All right, break blue fence is really the next thing that we have to do. We've gotten a thousand points in this round so far. We're gonna be running out of gas soon. No, I should have let go. Should have let go of standoff mode. I was trying to get a closer call. All right, so the question is, should we save up now until we get the 20,000 or should we use some upgrades in the meantime to, uh, to help us get to 20,000 a little bit later? I'm not too sure what the... Whoop, I'm doing terrible now. Not too sure what the best course of action is going to be. All right, so let's try to last long this time, which is, I guess, what we're always trying to do and failing at miserably. Ugh. There we go. <laughs> uh, no, no, that's safe. Just like that. Just like that. I'm going to take you off guard and you're just done. Okay, now zombies happen when you uh, destroy police officers. So when you end up destroying their cars then zombies start spawning around the world. So that's kind of like the point. Holy cow, that was really close. I did not mean to get so close, but it's good that we did. All right, I see a zombie. I see a zombie. It's on the other side of this fence. Let's go get the zombie. We need those points. Ugh. Oh, that was so close. Are there any other zombies around here? I don't see any. All right, all right, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. There's a zombie. There's a zombie. Oh, no, we missed the zombie. There's another zombie over there. And that way. Come on. Mm. 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 So now apparently we can avoid the, uh, what do you call it? The, the, oh no. We can avoid the blurry screen with the zombies if we use an upgrade before we get to the zombies or an upgrade after we get to the zombies. But right now we don't have any upgrades because we're conserving some of our cash. How much is the gas upgrade now? 5,400. Or we can get this, which increases the number of zombies spawned. This increases the number of enemy cars. This is, turns zombies into fuel. You know what? Let's try... This is only 1,500. Let's just try this. Because we've never actually done this before. Now, I don't know if I keep this as an upgrade. I think I actually... Oh, now that I think about it, it might be worth it. Because I think I actually keep this. I was thinking that the upgrades are just one-time use. And then you have to buy them again. But I think it's actually... they You get them for good. But they have a cooldown timer every match. So let's go ahead and try that. It's right here. We're going to wait until we actually... Uh, uh, blow up some police cars and then we're gonna try to spawn in some of these zombies uh, If I can even last that long is a thing. Oh, no, no oh. Of course, I'm not gonna last that long. So as soon as like we blow up our first couple of police cars We're gonna try to use that upgrade and find a zombie We should actually find a zombie before we use the upgrade and then use it right before we hit the zombie and that way We should avoid the blurry screen and then hopefully next round we'll be able to have the same upgrade and that'll make me feel good about getting upgrades instead of holding off. Because if it's a one-time use, that seems like a lot of money wasted just for like a one little, one little upgrade. All right, there's some zombies. There's some zombie, uh, or some cars exploding, which means some zombies should be appearing in the world somewhere. And I think I see one over here. Oh right, yeah, we have a couple over here. We'll use this. Uh, all right, we get the zombie. There we go. Now we do not have the blurry screen after getting the zombies. And so many cars just crash. And you can see the cooldown over here in the top right. Oh, yes, this is good. We just got such a huge multiplier from that just then. Oh, boy. Now, just don't die. All right, I think we can use it. Oh, wait, no, we can't. We can't use it again, apparently. I thought I saw the cooldown happen. But apparently, we only get one use. At least in the round. I don't know if it's gone forever, though. All right, what's going on now? It's nighttime, which means we could break through. We could actually break through the gate if we had enough money to buy the upgrade. All right, we're going to run out of gas in a second. Gas tank, critical. Come on. Oh, is that a special? Are these special zombies? What kind of zombies are these? Whoa. Whoa. Oh, and there we go. We crash. All right, we got 2,700 gold that round. I think that is a new record. We lasted a whole minute. That doesn't sound like a lot, but for this game, it is. Trust me. Okay, so now let's go into our upgrades thing. All right, yeah, I think we keep the upgrades. Before I actually spend any money, I'm going to... Let's go ahead back in here. We do. We keep the upgrades. That's good news. 
All right, now, now I feel good about that. I feel good about getting some upgrades. Whoops. All right, you know what? I wanted to get a new upgrade anyway. All right, so what else should we have? Zombies and the fuel might be useful. Number of enemy cars eh, attracts zombies to my car. You know what? Let's do zombies and the fuel. And then next we'll do attract zombies into the car. That'll be a good combination once we run low on fuel. All right, come on. Come at me, bros. Ew, you see that close call? That was awesome. All right, uh... I'm just gonna, oh, that was really close. Just gonna try to avoid these guys for a little while here as they blow each other up. There's a zombie. Oh, I missed the zombie. There's another zombie. I got that one. Here, we'll use the the more zombies thing. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, no, we didn't get to take advantage of the more zombies. We're almost at 5,000 though. We just need a little bit more to 5,000. Woo, close call. Come on, people, come at me. Come at me, come at me. That's right, that is right. All right, so this is a game that, like, it, you'll get a couple of really good close calls and it'll boost your confidence and you'll think you're awesome, and then you just get destroyed by, like, the simplest little mistake. Whoa. Whoa, 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 like that. All right, we're at 5,000. Now we can do the attract zombies to our car. So now we can probably combine these. We can add some, some uh, upgrade combos to really help out with our points. And our fuel. If we can even last long enough to use all of our fuel. I mean, that was, like, a, what, a minute? Our fuel lasts about a minute now. Whoa, that was close. I just got lucky there. I did not get lucky there, though. All right, what I like about this game, though, is it's quick. Like, when you die, you just hop right back in. You don't have to wait for any, like, loading screens or anything like that. And that was close. You know what? I might want the decoy. I think the decoy is actually really useful. I'm going to try that next. We're going to unlock the decoy. All right, come on. All right, I think we're I think we're pretty good. I'm actually gonna wait till our fuel gets lower, and oh, you know what? Never mind. I need the screen to not be blurry now. So attract some more zombies. All right, so now there should be a lot more zombies spawning around somewhere, especially with all those police officers just crashing. Where are the zombies at? Come on, where are the zombies at? A ton of police officers just exploded. Oh, there they are. I found the zombies. I found the zombies. All right, fuel's getting low, so now I'm gonna do this and this so now our zombies should be attracted to us and oh please don't oh no i didn't get to use the combo oh that would have been so good to use so we want this the decoy trap 8500 oh wow that was actually a lot more than i thought it was gonna be all right so it's gonna take a little bit to get that 8500 so we're gonna have to do some serious maneuvering and i think if we can use that combo whoops if we can use that combo that I planned on using, where we turn the zombies into fuel and attract them to our vehicle, then we might be able to make it up to 8,500 sooner, but I have to last that long is the problem. Oh, we got a zombie. Okay, we got two zombies. Let's go ahead and turn on zombie mode. Eh, eh. There's some zombies here. There we go. Oh, dang it. This is so hard. All right, if you don't believe me, try this game yourself. It's, it's actually kind of hard to, to get close calls like that and survive. It's not the easiest thing to do. And I am actually now realizing that zombies do spawn where the police officers crash. I thought it just made them spawn somewhere in the world. Whoops. Oh no, I'm stuck. Don't get stuck against buildings. It's bad for your health. It's go time. We're going to last two minutes this time because of our fuel plan with the zombies. Two minutes. Two minutes. I'm not worried. I am not worried at all. Oh, 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 oh boy. Oh, that was close. That was really close. It's raining now. All right, time to get some more zombies spawning in here. All right. Ugh. Oh, no. Oh, I am scared now. I Pressure is on. I said I was going to last two minutes. And I am feeling not confident in that anymore. Eh, where are the zombies? There's some zombies. There we go. Uh oh. All right, we're running low on fuel. Let's do it. We're doing the combo. Zombies are attracted to me. Zombies now do fuel. There goes our fuel. Our fuel is going up a little bit. I think. Is it working? I think it should be working. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It doesn't. It doesn't really add that much, does it? We're at a minute. We're halfway there. We're not gonna make it. We don't have enough fuel. I think that was. Oh, and we crashed anyway. All right, so I think that was overreaching. I don't think we can last two minutes even with the upgrade idea. But we got a thousand gold that round. So now we're at 4,500. That was good progress. 
All right, but we're saving up for the... I think the decoy is going to add a huge amount of potential to our income generation. I really do. And the reason being is that all of the cars are going to converge on the decoy and just blow each other up and cause a massive thing of zombies. So if we can do that combined with the multiple zombie spawns, combined with the zombies are attracted to me, combined with the zombies give us fuel, then we are going to be happy, happy campers. All right, so we're lasting pretty well so far. Um, gonna find some more zombies over here. All right, getting some point multipliers. Just avoid all the police. I heard a bunch of explosions over there. I think a bunch of police officers have just exploded. Ugh. All right, all right, we're running low on fuel. I didn't realize it. All right, so more zombies. Zombies are fuel. And, oh, can I only use two? I can only use two at a time. Oh, no. That is not what I was planning. That is not at all what I was planning. Ah. Oh. Another minute, though. Another minute lasted. How much did we get? 1,700? Oh. If we last another minute, we have it. If we last another minute, we have the uh, trap. But I have just realized we can only use two upgrades at a time, which makes sense. Comboing a bunch of them too much would obviously be a little bit cheap. So now I'm trying to figure out which two are best. I think more zombies, more fuel, or zombies attracted to me with fuel. I think more zombies, more fuel is the best combo for the fuel thing. All right, there's gonna be a whole bunch of zombies in here. Mm. Nope, not enough. Oh, did we already get to All right, we have it, we have it. All right, so now we can get the decoy, 8,500 for the decoy. Now there seems to be a lot more, a lot more police officers, so we are gonna use the decoy. Check this out. You ready for this? Look at that, look at that. They all go to the decoy and they all explode. Why? Why can't I just, just have one match where everything goes right? All right, here we go. So I'm gonna do, first I'm gonna do more zombies and then I'm gonna do decoy. All right, here we go. There they all go. They're all crashing into each other on the decoy. I don't know how long the decoy is, decoy is halfway through. Look at all the zombies there. Oh, this is gonna be amazing. What? That confused, that confused the heck out of me. Did you see what happened? I went into slow motion and I thought I was flipping over and dying. All right, that was really weird. All right, but I think this is the key. I think that's gonna work. The, the tough part is actually getting the zombies while all the police officers are still attracted to the decoy, so it's hard to actually drive my car through there without getting hit by a police car. So I think I have to wait for the decoy to run out and then go get the zombies. Whoa. Whoa. All right, here we go. Decoy time. Uh, increase zombies. Decoy. Oh! All right, here it goes. Oh, that was a close call. Come on, we can do it. Uh, oh, that was epic. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, I cannot believe that just happened. All right, I think it's decoy time. We're going to put the decoy in. We're going to spawn in some extra zombies. There it goes. All right, they're all going towards the decoy. There should be a ton of zombies spawning in there in just a second. Come on. Those police officers aren't crashing into each other. Oh no, the zombies disappear. We wasted it. We wasted it. No. I didn't realize that the zombies actually disappear. I thought they would just all congregate onto that spot. All right. Well, we're getting some good stuff now. And you know, th since fuel is running out, we're going to turn zombies into fuel and attract them to us now. All right. And it is nighttime. I don't know why I play this game. This game does nothing but disappoint. Does nothing but disappoint me. New car unlocked. It looks like we got a pickup. I don't know if the stats are any different on this or what. But let's go ahead and uh, give it a try. See what happens. I don't know if it's faster or... Uh oh. Well, that wasn't good. I don't know if it's faster or if it uh, if it's it uh, more maneuverable. It doesn't feel any different. It's probably just aesthetic. It's probably just aesthetic things. All right. We're going to do this. We're going to do this in a most epic manner we've ever done it before which is not what just happened, but just bear with me. All right, you ready for this? Oh, oh, three car crash over there. Oh, that was close underneath the cars. Oh, that was actually kind of epic. It wasn't the most epic thing, but it was pretty epic considering how terribly I've been doing. All right, it is decoy time. Decoy, more zombies. We're gonna let them crash over there. Let the zombies spawn in for a second. All right, here we go. Underneath the car. Where's the zombies? Spawn in the zombies, please. I'm not seeing zombies spawn in. I did say extra zombies, right? I thought I did. 
All right. All right, I'm gonna do the fuel thing now. We're gonna do zombies are fuel, zombies are attracted to me. I've never lasted for this to really happen very much. All right, come on. Come on, we need some of those zombies. No! Oh, every single time. Every single time I activate that power-up combo, I end up dying. All right, we're at 7,000. We're almost halfway to breaking out. I have never been to the second level before, so I have no idea what to expect. Probably not much better than I've been doing. Come on, police officers. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna stay in this mode here. Look at this. It's totally working. No, it's not. All right, here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. Here, here it doesn't go. We're not going. All right, are you guys ready to pull off some epic maneuvers here? Because I'm ready to pull off some absolutely epic maneuvers like that. It was not an epic maneuver. We're going to pull off some epic maneuvers here using the last stand... Uh, um, okay. Epic maneuvers here using the standoff mode just like this. It's starting to happen. It's not happening. It is time to pull off some epic... Nope. Oh, uh, here it goes. Here comes the epicness. Nope, nope, never mind. I just want to pull off something epic again. It's just so much better when epic things start happening. Like that. And that. Oh, and that. Oh, it's starting to... Uh oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I got stuck on the side. That was actually really cool, though, when that happened. I'm going to play a couple of rounds. We're going to stock up some gold. And then we're going to buy that fence breaker thingy. Then all we have to do is last until nighttime, which I think is close to like a minute in. All right, we lasted really long in this round. It's been working pretty well, but we're gonna run out. I think this might, this might be the first time that we actually run out of gas instead of crashing. We might actually run out of gas, which is kind of awesome. And we did it. Gas depleted. Uh, I don't know why I feel accomplished at that, but I feel like actually avoiding them for that long is a big accomplishment. We got 3,000 for that. So if we could do that one more time, we are gonna break through to the next level. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we now have 20,000, so we're going to buy the fence breaker. I don't exactly know how it is used or just, oh, I think I just, I have, it. oh my, 127,000 for the next one. Are you kidding me? I think now that I have it, I don't think I actually have to use it. No, I don't have to use it. It's just once it's nighttime, I can officially just break through this fence up here. I can just go boop and break through it, which apparently is not happening now because I am terrible at this game. Got some more zombies spawning in over here. Oh, it's nighttime. It's nighttime. You know what that means? It's nighttime. We can break through. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, <gasps> we did it. We broke through the blue fence. Now what? Now what's happening? Oh, no. Oh, no. They have alarms and stuff. All right, we need some fuel. Do a donut three times. Get a crash multiplier of at least three. I don't know. Or right, donut one, two. They're up. Whoa. <laughs> This is crazy. This is crazy. No, no. <laughs> oh, man. Things are getting intense now. All right, so now do we just restart with the whole map? Like, is this like a bigger map now? That's my question. Oh, wait, we restart at the beginning? Are you kidding me? Oh, oh, I see now. I think I see what's happening. I got to confirm this hypothesis, though. So it looks like our fence breaker is now 127,000. So I think we have the blue front fence breaker. You can see this is a green now. And this fence up here is a blue. At night, we can always break through this blue fence. And then we have to unlock the next fence breaker to then survive another night to break through the next fence. So then we have to get enough enough coin and enough skill to unlock all the fence breakers, survive all the nights to get through each fence, and then escape the final level. Because each fence is going to bring us to the next level, which is going to bring us to different types of police officers and things like that, and that was kind of epic. Just going to play it off like it was nothing. All right, it is now nighttime, but I want to take advantage of, uh, of all these zombies kind of and all these crashes going on over here. Ooh, that was kind of disorienting. Uh-oh, uh uh-oh, oh no! It was nighttime! Why did we do that? All right, we got like 4,000 gold though, so that was worth it. All right, it is nighttime. I just have to survive to the fence. Come on, get to the fence, and then I'm gonna use, once I get to the fence, there we go. Yes, all right, so we can break through all the time now at night. So now I'm gonna use my decoy right here. There we go. I'm gonna use some uh, uh, zombie fuel at the decoy. Hopefully this works. Oh, there we go, we got some crashing. Oh, no. All right, well, 
I think you guys get the gist of how this game goes. Let me know what, what you guys thought of it. If you want to see more of it on the channel... Oh, apparently we unlocked a new, or we got a new quest completion too. If you want to see more of it on the channel, definitely let me know. I'm not really expecting to do more. I just wanted to kind of do a first look at it, just kind of like a first impressions video, because it looked really fun to play and uh, also really frustrating. So let me know how you guys do if you guys decide to give the game a try. Are you able to get to the third fence? Seems virtually impossible to me. But anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.